Good afternoon. Okay, wait a minute. Now, you don't have to be excited about me, and you definitely don't have to be excited about Federal Highway. But the welcome reception, happy hour, end of today's conference, that's enough to get excited about, right? So good afternoon. All right, all right, all right. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me. And uh, I think, thank you for making me the last speaker before. Okay, I'll just take it. Um, but I, oh, okay. If Pazee says, Pazee says it's a good spot, so we'll see. But no, I want to say thank you for uh, having me and, and giving um, Federal Highway another opportunity to make a few remarks today. Uh, I'm kind of fitting into this uh, strange space between Jermaine, you heard from Jermaine earlier today, the, the division office uh, administrator for the Indiana uh, Federal Highway Office. And on Thursday, you'll be hearing from Jason, who's going to do a deeper dive into uh, our efforts at, at Federal Highway as related to preservation. But I just wanted to give you a little bit more context um, about our program at Federal Highway, and then there will be others during the week that are, will be here, will be participating in several of the discussions, and again, you'll be hearing from Jason. So here we go. <clears throat> I know everyone's seen the slide from Federal Highway. We'll just ignore it. Um, but I wanted to take a minute to, to talk about, uh, you know, if Federal Highway, when we say preservation, you know, kind of where, what is the context of this? Where are we coming from? And so I know everyone's heard keeping good roads good. I've heard it already. Of course, I'm at a preservation conference, right? So I've heard it several times today already. But at Federal Highway, we've defined pavement preservation as work that is planned and performed to improve or sustain the condition of the transportation facility in a state of good repair. And of course, for our purposes here today, when we say facility, we're talking about pavements. And so we issued this memo, and I'm looking at Tony, who's probably rolling his eyes, in 2016 that we're in the process of trying to update, where it provides this definition. It's on our website. You can look at it. And it goes on to further talk about how with preservation specifically, it doesn't typically add structural or capacity value, but it improves or restores the overall performance of the pavement or the facility. So again, keep in context into some of uh, the things that you will hear Federal Highway talk about today and over the course of the week. Now, Jermaine talked earlier about some of the priorities from Federal Highway. He, of course, we're an infrastructure organization. We, we assist in the development and the building of roads throughout the country. Uh, so that is, of course, one of our, our, our main um, objectives and a, a place where we spend a lot of time and a lot of our efforts, right? Training, partnerships, uh, working with agencies and others, industries, academia across the country. But I also want to talk about and kind of point you to our strategic plan that was released earlier this year. And like most agencies and entities, we do this every three or four years. And so we had a recent update. And Jermaine hit on this, but I wanted to kind of pull out the language exactly so you could see where we're coming from at Federal Highway in this discussion of preservation. And so in the strategic plan, we have a strategic objective for high performing core assets. And it talks about you know, restoring and modernizing our core assets to improve state of good repair. We're all very familiar with that. But explicitly in the strategic plan, it calls out the strategy that says the Federal Highway will promote effective materials quality assurance, preservation, and maintenance practices to extend the life cycle of assets. So if you question, you know, where Federal Highway kind of stood in this discussion of preservation, hey, it's right in our strategic plan. Our administrator has told the world that preservation is core, is key to the things that we do in Federal Highway in our efforts. And that is the same when we talk about pavements in our program at Federal Highway. So if anyone has heard me do presentations over the past year or so, you've probably seen this slide. This is one of my favorite slides at Federal Highway these days. And uh, it's in, I think 
it's my favorite slot because we do a lot of things at Federal Highway, right? Like we're kind of all over the place into everything, right? Wherever you are, someone from Federal Highway pops up and they, you know, have something to say, right? Um, and the same is true within our pavements and materials program. But I really like how a few years ago some of us came together and developed this infographic. Because like many organizations at Federal Highway, we also suffered from this issue of silos, right? So we weren't talking across programs. And we decided a few years ago that, you know, we're going to kind of put our money where our mouth is and we're going to try to do better. And this was one of the first things that came out of that discussion was this graphic where not only does it talk, I think, kind of show and visualize how our program areas start to come together, but it's reflective of the pavement life cycle. And this is what I want to spend a minute here on. So we say, and I think our vision at Federal Highway, and I think you'll be hearing more and more of this in the coming months and years, I hope, but we want to ensure that pavements are designed, constructed, preserved, and maintained to accommodate current and predicted traffic needs and consider economic, environmental, and social impacts and burdens throughout the pavement's life cycle. So I don't know if you caught it, but in the beginning it was the, my title was holistic approach to pavement preservation. And I would like to say, well, maybe it's just a holistic approach to pavements. So whether you're talking about preservation or pavement design or materials or construction or pavement management or sustainable pavements, and it's been a lot of discussion about sustainability here today, um, we ha we're all talking about the pavement life cycle and we really need to start thinking about how all of these things come together. So when you're designing a pavement, you should be thinking about pavement preservation then, right? Or when you're thinking about pavement preservation performance, thinking about how pavement management um, can be used to identify the benefits and the performance of those pavement preservation treatments. So holistically, thinking more about the pavement life cycle. And I was really excited to look at the program because it's a lot, a, a lot of discussions over the next three days that are looking at different aspects of this graphic. So I saw a pavement design session and pavement management and sustainability. And I will do a, a shameless plug. I don't think she's here today, but uh, Migdalia Carrion from our team will be here uh, tomorrow to talk about our sustainable pavements program. And you can hear a little bit more. There's been a lot of discussions about EPDs and LCA. And so if that's kind of been over your head today and you're like, what the heck are they talking about? This will be an opportunity tomorrow to hear a little bit more about that, as well as to hear about some of the initiatives that are going on at Federal Highway around sustainability and pavements. So, so the first thing, again, that I talked about is this idea of the whole pavement life cycle and kind of where does preservation fit into that and related and feeds into these other program areas. The second part of this holistic uh, approach to pavement preservation is really thinking through uh, being strategic about pavement preservation at the network level and having a plan in, in your agency or in, across different agencies for how you will approach and tackle pavement preservation and to make it a part of your pavements program. So we really want to kind of think through those two things over the course of the next three days, of course, but when you go back home and you're thinking about new preservation treatments that you like to try, or you're working with industry, thinking through where you want to go and things that you want to accomplish or address issues that you may have as a part of your, your pavement treat, preservation treatments. So what is Federal Highway doing? This sounds all great and okay, LaToya, you have this vision for holistic approach to pavement preservation, great, but what are you doing? So I'm not going to get into a lot of the details today because Jason is going to come on Thursday, as I mentioned, and talk a little bit more about it. But I did want to put some, a few things out there for you to think about. First, we did uh, publish a strategic plan back in October of 2020, and we've been kind of working through updating that and thinking through um, you know, what the next five years of our program needs to look like. But when you look at that strategic plan, we do have a mission and we do have an objective as related to preservation. And I don't think it's any, any surprise here, but we do want to also acknowledge that, um, you know, there are some issues that we need to address and we need to continue to think through. So what are those things as related to 
uh, you know, being able to look at pa uh, pavement preservation performance, um, how to address the, the availability of materials and workforce. Um, those are the things that we want to continue to address and look at, work with all of you to think through as related to our federal highway program. And there are a lot of opportunities, right? We want to expand the knowledge and experience. We want to demonstrate benefits. We want to encourage agencies to become more, more pavement preservation oriented. We want to foster collaboration and cooperation. Again, you know, we realize that, <clears throat> well, I don't know if you realize, but there's no federal requirement for pavement preservation. However, it's very clear when you read through U.S. state USC United States Code, and I won't quote any code while I'm up here, but it's very clear in several places that preservation is a critical component of making sure that we um, continue to maintain and sustain the state of good repair on our roadways and highways in the U.S. And so these are opportunities that we have identified as a part of our efforts. And then as a part of strategies, again, I don't think any surprise here, but you know, we want to explore and disseminate pavement preservation fundamentals. So things like our recently updated pavement preservation website. Uh, back in May, we hosted peer exchanges where I think we had over 40 states represented as a part of those peer exchanges to have some really good discussions about pavement preservation best practices. Hopefully in the next few weeks or months, we'll have a new um, report that's issued, uh, our benchmarking study on pavement preservation in the U.S. So we're really trying to think through um, better ways and other ways to explore and disseminate pavement preservation fundamentals. We're trying to encourage effective pavement preservation programs. I mentioned the updated memo that we're working on that hopefully you'll see soon from Federal Highway. We're also developing training um, related to uh, design and inspection of uh, pavement preservation. And then we're facilitating strategic pavement preservation research and implementation efforts. So I don't know if you guys are aware, but uh, I think in November, we will be doing a ribbon cutting on our new pavement testing facility out at our Turner Fairbank Research Highway Center. And as a part of our new pavement <coughs> testing facility, there will be some test sections that will include pavement preservation treatments. And if Morgan were here, Morgan would be telling you about some of the research that he's doing as well at a Turner Fairbanks. So again, we have a lot of things going on, a lot of interest. But at the end of the day, um, I do want to leave you with a message that Federal Highway is absolutely committed to the space of pavement preservation. And I know earlier today, uh, the Jim Sorensen Award was given for the work that Jim Sorensen started at Federal Highway. And we're no Jim Sorensen, I'm no Jim Sorensen, but as much as I can, I think the, the group that we have at Federal Highway working on pavement preservation, we do take his legacy very seriously and we do try to continue his work. And so I do want to say that we're committed to our role, of course, of providing policy and leadership in the space of pavement preservation. And we do want to focus on demonstrating, helping everyone in this room to demonstrate the economic and social and environmental benefits of pavement preservation, and we'll continue to conduct and sponsor um, research and other activities around the space. And here we've provided some of the work that we've done over the years as related to pavement preservation. So we're committed. Um, unfortunately, I won't be able to stay the whole week, but I leave you in good hands. And so I do want to point out a few folks that I've already mentioned that I consider kind of our core team at Federal Highway in the space of pavement preservation. And so out of headquarters, uh, Tom Van and Tony Neves are here. Uh, research, Morgan Kessler, who couldn't join us today, but he's really leading our, our research efforts in the space. And then of course, Jason Dietz is here from the Resource Center. And I do want to acknowledge that from, uh, we have two division offices represented today, here this week um, who are key players, I think, at Federal Highway in the space of pavement preservation. Uh, Jermaine, he introduced Tom Duncan earlier. And then we have Dennis Bachman from the Illinois Division who's also here. So again, I just want to thank you for uh, having me and having us, Federal Highway, participate 
uh, this week. We're really excited about it. As you see the team and other folks, if you have suggestions or you have places where you think that uh, we can help out, uh, things that you think we should uh, play a role in trying to do, we want to hear from you. Bozi has no problems telling me what he thinks. And so I expect the same from all of you. So with that, have a great conference. Enjoy Indiana. Enjoy happy hour. Have a good one.